as a parent, I think you you kind of you picture what your kid is going to do. And I know that I had things lined out for trading. When something happens, like what happened to trading, you realize that they don't equate to to happiness and joy in this life. That was that was one of the things that we realized uh, very quickly, and our perspectives changed because when when he had his accident, uh, he it was a it was a left side uh, head injury. He was hit by a car, and probably if uh, if if that car would have hit one or two feet behind, uh, Trayton would have suffered no injuries. The police department told us that the bumper of the car made direct impact with, with Trayton's head. He was rushed to the hospital, um, went through a six hour surgery. <clears throat> we, we came out of surgery and uh, you know the doctors, they just told us uh, that it was, it was pretty bad and they wouldn't tell us they wouldn't make any promises on what was going to take place in the future. It had to be tough to stay upbeat as much as you wanted to and as much as you could tell he was fighting every day. You know, a big fear was if if we do save trading, uh, what what is this, you know, what's his quality of life going to be? Trading was in a, uh, he was in a coma for, for uh, three weeks. They have numbers that, that they kind of, uh, I, I guess, mark the severity and they told us uh, that 30 was, was pretty bad, 40 was severe, and we trade and spent quite a bit of time in the 50s. And we were blessed to have literally thousands and thousands of people praying for trade. What we have today is, is a direct result of, you know, it's, he's a blessing from God to be here. Um, we, uh, he came out of his coma after about three weeks. It was really amazing because he started he started moving. The staff that was working with Traden would come in and, and they just could not believe the progress that he was making. And so uh, five weeks uh, after after the accident, we we left we left the hospital, and uh, I made I made you walk, didn't I, Traden? Yeah. <laughs> hey, good. You did it. You did it. He could walk out of the hospital, and he did. He walked uh, all the way down the, the floor of the ICU into the elevator, out the lobby, and into the car. So after the accident, I mean, I guarantee there were small goals that he was shooting for. He said he's willing, you know, he's working on his speech, he's working on getting back out and playing 18 holes. What are the things that he's most focused on now, his goals, and when he rises up every morning, yeah. he's like, this is what I want to do today. And, what do you think he's most shooting for? One of the very first things we did, and we we had a little, you know, one of those little putting mats, mm -hmm. and you know, I got him up and I said, Drayden, you know, you wanna you wanna try this out, and at that at that point, I really didn't know if he would even know how to grip the club. I didn't mm -hmm. know what what There's abilities would, he would have, but it it was muscle memory, just coming back. So he takes a couple swipes at it and uh, steps up to the ball. And you know, it's probably an eight to 10 foot putt. And he hits it about four feet. He probably putted another ball and then he made it. And then he made it again. And he's just, he's making them one after another, just boom, boom, boom. I mean, he could barely walk, you know. I, and when I say barely walk, it was, I mean, he still had a, he still had a shuffle. And, and but here he is, you know, able to 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 take these swings, and and it was just, and I knew then, I knew that he was he was going to be back. Anybody who's who's seen trading, nobody is doubting what this kid can do, what he can accomplish. The talk in that in that operating room was, he's not going to make it, and if we can save him, he'll never wake up. Five weeks later, he walks on his own out of the hospital. He's exceeded every goal that I believe anybody has, has put on him.